The Public Utilities Regulatory Commission, PURC, has implemented an interim tariff structure, which means two components, the Fuel Adjustment Clause and the Renewable Energy Charge, are now applicable to all customers. The interim tariff, which came into effect on October 1, 2023, aims to address long-standing energy sector inefficiencies by revisiting the classification of renewable energy and eradicating non-fuel disparities. PURC's Acting Chief Executive Officer, Jenna Jacobs, said the newly introduced interim tariff is being reviewed as the Commission seeks to finalize a longer-term tariff structure. The interim tariff is the temporary rate structure that's going to be in place while a complete overhaul, you might want to call it, of the, the old tariff system is being undertaken. And that the process to getting to the new tariff, it's quite, it, 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 it's lengthy. It's estimated to take approximately 24 months. And so in the meantime, that's where the interim tariff came in. The interim tariff made several changes. One of the key features of the tariff is the introduction of a renewable energy charge. This charge aims to ensure accurate billing based on the EV proportion of renewable energy and fuel consumed. By saying renew renewable energy charge, that is not an additional charge on the bill. What it means is that the issue that we highlighted with renewable energy being incorrectly classified and charged as fuel energy is going to be no more. Now, customers will be able to benefit from the cost savings to be had from using renewable energy. So 97% of what we use comes from fuel, 3% comes from renewable energy. But if we can get that percentage to be greater, if we get more and more persons to produce renewable energy here, then we will start to see the reflected savings through um, more of your bill coming from the renewable charge as opposed to the fossil fuel charge. Additionally, the PURC adjusted the non-fuel charge to reflect inflationary prices. We adjusted the non-fuel charge in line with inflation in the country. So to give, while it's an interim solution, while we await the more lengthy studies being done, moving the non-fuel rate in line with inflation would give a more accurate representation of what's going on in our economy. Grunleck notes that while the fuel adjustment clause benefits both customers and the electricity company, it may result in significant upward and downward movements in the monthly fuel charge. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.